Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? What's going on, man? Shout out to everybody in the battle rap community, man. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to the channel as well, man. If you're not subscribed, real quick, man. Just real quick. Just hit that subscribe button. That's it. Just hit the subscribe. Boop. Real quick. Real quick. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Real quick. Appreciate that, man. But, yo, I want to talk about something, man. Shout out to my brother, man. Chris and Bias, man. He just did a new series with um Trufo not too long ago, The Sit Down. Uh, he did one with Danny Myers. I was watching this while I was at work today, man. I literally, man, I had to just stop, like, literally working and, like, watch the full entire uh, interview that he did, which was amazing, man. Like, I didn't really know too much about Danny Myers. I knew that he was from Cali. Um, I knew, you know, he used to be in the streets. I thought he grew up. I thought I grew up, but I thought he came up, you know, around, like, the likes of the Geechee Gotties, the disasters and things of that nature. But, um... Very interesting story, bro. And I really gained not only a, a level of respect and understanding for Danny Myers and people like him in the battle rap community, but I also, when I like, you know, if something happens with a battle rapper, like I'm a lot more conscious and a lot more understanding just based on watching this blog right here. You know, um, you got y'all got to check it out, man. He talks about, you know, you know, his upbringing as far as getting into the battle rap community, his start on URL, how that whole came about, the whole T-Rex debacle, you know, with him sending a deposit, a 12K to T-Rex to battle him um, <laughs> and not getting no contract pretty much on a street, on a, on a street contract, <laughs> you know, and Rex not showing up to the battle and that being a whole debacle. I let I won't spoil it. I'll let y'all go watch it. But um, in totality, it turns around, it actually worked out in his favor. He didn't get the battle, per se, on his own, but he ended up getting the battle on URL. Um, prior to that, he was on URL, and URL started to implicate the contracts, and they wanted to sign Danny to a contract, and Danny didn't want to do the contract. We all know Danny battles damn near every week, small league, big league, whatever the case may be. Uh, he didn't want to do the contract because he felt that would, you know, hinder him from battling, you know, on every other league. You know, Danny, he got 10 kids, man. He got a family. This is his income. This is how he makes a living, you know. And I, I, I think I was under the impression, like, he was desperate for money. That's why he battled all the time. And that just wasn't the case. Like, the man really, really loves battle rap. Not hurting for money. You know, he's financially good. You know what I'm saying? He's a very smart dude. Very smart. Doesn't doesn't use no drugs, yo. Don't smoke no weed, no liquor, no nothing. You know, in his trials and tribulations, you know, with his kids, you know, losing custody, getting custody back. It was just very humbling to hear, man. And I'm not gonna spoil it for y'all. I want y'all to really go check that, check that uh that sit down out. But it's really, really, really dope, man. And a battle, I gotta check out that Mike P and Danny Myers, bro. I gotta check that battle out. Like I didn't, like, I remember watching the battle, but I don't know. I don't remember the significance of it being. I remember that angle that Mike P had on Danny hitting extremely hard, especially the next day with everybody talking about it in the battle rap community. But, um, yeah, man, that, that, I literally, like, I'm like, I just saw my bucket list to, like, watch. I wanted the battles to watch. Danny Myers versus uh, Mike P. But, um, yeah, man, it's a really dope conversation, man, and. He, uh, <laughs> it's funny, right? I'll I, I tell y'all one, Jew. Shout out to Chris, man. Chris, you shot with the interviewing skills, bro. You really shot. So Danny was like, yeah, man. He's like, yo, I gave, you know, Rex the 12K. He's like, I'm new to this. Like, I'm just getting in a battle rap. I don't know. I'm a street guy, da, da, da. So Chris is like, yo, did you hit Vicky? Did you ask Vicky about the 12K? And then he started laughing. He like, hell nah, nigga. I ain't tell her. He said, I did that shit when I was like, he said when Vicky found out she was bad as shit, boy. Bad as shit. As she should. As she should, bro. But uh it's dope to see, man. And it really gives you an eye opener, man. Like these these battle rappers are human beings, bro. Like they go through things. You know, guys may, you know, not show up on cars or may have a history of not showing up or certain behaviors like running off on deposits and not giving deposits back is unacceptable. But real life does happen, bro. And these guys be under the most excruciating things and still have to get on that stage and perform at the highest of their ability. You know, he touched on with everything that transpired with the real sick battle. 
and I'm not gonna spoil that. I'm gonna let y'all see the see the blog so y'all can y'all can get a whiff of that, man. But I just wanted to salute Danny Myers, you know, just sharing your story. Um, I have a high level respect. I want you to win, bro. I really, really want you to win. You really, really love this culture, man. You've been through a lot, bro. Some of it, you know, bad choices that you made, but a lot of the shit is not warranted. You should get a lot more flowers. Um, I, I want to see you get the murder moves. I want to see you get the, the loaded Lux battle. I hope you get it, man. You deserve it, bro. You deserve it, man. Danny Myers is is, is the definition of battle. If, if somebody was like, yo, I want to watch battle rap, but I don't know where to start. Yo, show them Danny Myers versus Tay Rock. Show them that battle. That's the battle I would show. I would show Danny Myers versus Tay Rock. Fire from the rebuttals, the performance, everything. He, get, he gives you your all on the stage, man. He gives you your all on the stage. It's a little unfortunate that he's not on Summer Madness. Um, hopefully, you know, at the end of this year or top of the year, he can get a fresh reset and we can see him just get more of the opportunities that he deserves, man. But, yo, check that out, man. Check that out, man. Fire. Fire conversation. I really, really fuck with the series, Chris. Big shout out to you, man. Subscribe to his channel. You know, show him some love in the comment section. Let him know that Acito from Dedication TV sent you over there, man. Let me know in the comment section if you did see it. Let me know what you think of it, man, in the comment section. As always, man, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love, y'all. It's your boy, Acito. I'm out of here. Peace.